downtown Atlanta. We're, we were at Blade Show. Something happened, we got to bail out. What's up, guys? Don't cut yourself. I live in the big city, so my first option would be to get out of the city, get into the nature. I think the first thing when you want to start here is get the fire going. It's always, it's a big bo uh, morale boost. Got the bag of the saw, wood saw on the multi-tools. One of the best strikers there are. I don't have to carry the original striker from the fair rod. We have here the Spyderco Manix 2XL, but obviously this is not the uh, the knife of choice I would take out here, but we're testing the scenario. This is absolutely all you have, your EDC for that day. Steel on this S30V, so it shouldn't have any problem retaining an edge after this. This ball bearing lock, I think it's holding up really well. Let's see the blade play. A little bit side to side. Absolutely rock solid, none up and down whatsoever. Also, this nice little finger troll right here allows you to choke up on a rather large blade. See, this is having no trouble. Can't do this with a dull knife either. It's probably, it, that's probably isn't edible. <laughs> <laughs> no, those guys are bad. Hatchets are nice. Hatchet and hogs are nice, especially small ones like this, because they are very light. And uh, in the preparing of the bigger wood, they will work better than a similar size knife. This is really rich for sap fed wood. This thing will light up on fire like a torch. It's literally like a candle. If you find this, just take a piece and stick it in your bag. It's a really good thing to have. This will burn for a long, long time. You can light this, uh, you can blow it out and keep reusing it. This will last a really, really long time. The heat from the fire is gonna reflect right off of it and onto us right here if we build a lean-to. I would lash a paracord from the tree to whatever closest we can get there. I'm gonna collect a couple of these branches to make, you know, simple rule for the over the paracord. Just to give it a little protection in case it would rain. Just to get an idea, I think this is what I would be doing. One nice thing with the little hatches and hogs like this, you put the hand between the wood and the handle. Nice thing with the hogs that you have really a lot of drying power compared to the knife. So, you know, you break it open like this, you know, and so on, so on. Hatchets are great for having big logs, but if you have a uh, little bitty tasks, the knife still works pretty well. When you need to baton with a knife and you need to have it reliable for a long period of time, your good thing to learn is uh, baton with the disengaged lag on the knife. Kind of like that? Yeah, you just hold it by the pivot. So pretty much there is no stress on any moving parts in the knife. Just All the, the stress itself. is just in the blade. 